Yo, yo, yo. It's D. Arthur in the building. And I'm talking to you guys today about why women will treat you like a king on semen retention. Why you'll be treated like a very, very noble king while you're on semen retention. And why women will tend to treat treat you a little bit better the normal while you're on semen retention as opposed to a uh, woman treating you like crap what when you're not on semen retention why why is this the difference the difference is if you if you look at your everyday life when you wake up in the morning you do whatever you have to do and you just look at people and you just look at people and you just kind of study people and study their char- characteristics and how certain some people like carry themselves you start to notice some things you you start to notice that if we're studying men in in general you start to notice that most men that uh you see in your day-to-day they're usually they're usually they usually look like they could be anywhere else they're always in their head they're not present um they might maybe something at home may be going on they just don't seem like they really want to be there and they just look like their head is somewhere else where they might be worrying about bills their their wife their children not liking them or something like that in regards or their girlfriend not treating them right and the reason why this is and if you want to command more respect, let's say from your peers, your colleagues, and uh, and just people in general and women in general, there comes a certain time and place where when people try to test you or when, uh, let's say, women try to shit test you or they try to disrespect you or something like that to see if you're man enough, a lot of men kind of fold. Um, they kind of fold, they kind of, they, they're taking off their masculine frame and they're just very, let's say, they become carried away with what she may think, what she may think of you. And then they're just like, you know what? They, they stop their masculine frame and then they submit to, let's say the woman or something like that. And if you, if you, if you do this, uh, on a continuous basis she's going to act out of frame she's going to act out of she's going to be very a lot less receptive to you you see women like a man who can take charge and lead uh in in interactions and every anything if you're taking out taking her out on a date uh you go into the store or the restaurant you pick out a table that you want to sit in you you don't hesitate you go to that table when you're when you're looking at your food or your menu to see what you should order you don't think about should i get this this or this you look you scan through it you pick one and then when the waiter comes you order the food and there's that the man who's indecisive and the man who likes to think twice and second guess about everything is usually a man who is who falls short of glory he usually falls short and the woman kind of senses this about him and then tries to look for other options. So don't tell don't tell yourself why isn't she reacting towards the way that I want her to react or why does it seem like she's always checking other guys out or something like that or she's always flaking on me or she's always doing this, she's always doing this. A woman can act like how she really wants you to act when you do the correct things properly when you're not giving in to her her shit test when you're not always emotional it's okay to be emotional but at some point you have to kind of lay down the line and there has to be some sort of line in the sand um she will treat you more like a man and she will treat you more like let's say a king if that's what you want if you do certain things right um maybe when you're first interacting with her you give her solid eye contact um you're you may be you 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 may be in, indirect 
at the beginning just to see where her interest is and then you may want to raise her interest a little bit um you put her you put her you're not always there you're not always convenient you're not always kissing up to her or or just kissing up just so she can like you you care you you don't care as much if she, you care as much as she does if you care more than she does then you've kind of already lost at some point you have to look at it as women treat them metaphorically like she's your shadow like uh she's your shadow and if you follow the shadow it's really not going to budge or do anything but if you lead the shadow then it's automatically going to follow you and the way to help you gain this masculine edge this masculine confidence this sexual aura about you is to go on semen retention and is to do other things like maybe meditate cold showers getting getting everything in your ducks in line because she there has to be something that uh sh she can let's say respect about you um i'll give you an example and this is personal to me um there there was a time where earlier i was talking to a girl and then everything kind of seemed okay i didn't really know where her interest was and at, and then kind of days pass and then i try to talk to her again i ask her this question just to kind of put something in the air to maybe start a conversation and i asked it very loudly and and it was kind of direct that but the pro my problem that i did was i didn't um i guess she I, she wasn't facing me uh when i was talking to her but it, she, she she could hear me basically and she basically um she didn't answer the question and she just left now th there's two things that could have happened uh she might have not heard of me not heard what i said and i don't think that's true because i said it pretty loud and clear so she might so the other thing is she might have heard the question but she didn't want to answer it and so she just kind of left so just to uh not answer the question and not carry out the interaction now there's two things that i can do i can soak in my measure and be like oh she doesn't like me blah 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 but the thing that i decided to do is just go on to some some something else because you got to realize at, at in the in the beginning of interactions if she's not showing that much interest in you there's certain things that you may have done wrong at the beginning and that's and the and that manifestation is her flaking on you or not uh maybe even ignoring you at times if you haven't done the things right the best thing for you to do is to keep masculine frame and just be bold in your intentions um uh, not giving her too much validation at first and having her work t for your validation and your your attention because if you're a high value male then your attention um your attention is very you have to use your attention very sparingly because you're always on some sort of mission you're always on some you're always setting some sort of goal to hit and your time is valuable so you can't just give your attention to every single person also why women will treat you like you're a king when you're on semen retention and you're doing the things right because there's a lot of questions as to why uh why she's flaking why she's hesitant why she doesn't seem like she's interested in me and like i said the thing is you have to give her something to uh to like about you at the beginning to respect you maybe like you you ask her a witty question and then you, you start connecting with her on something that you both have in common i said this before you guys start connecting on something that you both have in common and then and then once you start connecting with her and it seems like she's very intrigued and into the conversation at some point you have to stop with the interaction you have to stop talking to her about it because she obviously wants more of it she wants that dopamine spike if you're connecting with her on something that you both can connect on there's going to be dopamine in both of your brains and if there's dopamine in both of your brains 
if you do it right, she can't get enough of it. And she knows that dopamine is from you. So you have to give her some, you have to give her some so she can know how it feels like, but you can't give her too much of it because then you'll she'll use it all up and it'll get boring. So get her to connect with you. And this is how she won't flake on you. This is how you create that emotional bond with her. This is probably the most important part in any interaction. It's the way you make her feel while you're talking to her and how after you make her feel a certain way, she goes back into her brain and she's, she starts making conclusions. If this guy is making me feel this way just while he's talking to me, then he must be, I must like him. And now I am going to try everything in my power to make him like me even more so he's more around me. So he's around me even more. And this is really how you can stop flaking, how you can stop ignoring, getting her to ignore you, and how you can really do anything you really want with her if that's what you want. If this video made any sense to you, like, comment, and subscribe below. Also, um, click on the video training series I put down together to learn more about these techniques to get her to effortlessly attracted to you. Also, click uh comment down below like what days you guys are on on semen retention are you guys just watching these videos just to watch it just tell me how many days you guys are actually on and let's and let's see like if you have any other questions let's comment below peace out